All right, guys, in today's Madden 21 video, we're going to be continuing uh, part two of our gun bunch tight end offensive uh, free mini scheme here. And in the first video, we talked about a really nice little yard gainer that I like to use out of the inside switch and how you can kind of uh, combine it with the um, with the stick concept as well. Now, what I want to do today is show you some right side of the field motions um, that can really help this scheme improve. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody. Basically, what our channel does is we give Madden 21 tips and tricks out for free on YouTube every single day. So we do four uh, tip videos a day. We sometimes break down what pro players are doing or what I think you know really interests me about what they're doing. Um, we also break down just different things that I'm seeing in different playbooks and different uh, schemes. And I've been getting questions about this, and I've actually faced this a couple of times um, um, online. And Gun Bunch tight end used to be one of like the best offenses in the game. Uh, rest in peace to spot me, please. But um, he was an incredible Madden player who really was able to just throw lasers from this specific formation. And so uh, we're just doing this. Like I said, I got a couple of requests for this. If you want to see a scheme broken down, um, just shoot it to me in a text message. Um, we have a text message membership where we basically go through and um, every single week we release a video to our community, our text message members only, and they only get this video. Um, and it's typically a longer video. And this is kind of a sample of what that looks like, but where we just go in depth, give a full scheme, a full breakdown. Um, we've gone over the gun bunch from Carolina. We've gone over the big nickel over G defensively. We've gone over the gun cluster. And we've also gone over the uh, Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. So if you want to get those, all of those videos, in addition to the videos that we're going to continue to do, because we do a new one every single week, um, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216-3644. All right, so the audibles you're going to want to have for the bunch tight end is the X spot, the curl flat corner, uh, the stick, and then the PA boot over. And in today's um, breakdown, we're going to be going over, again, some right side motioning that you can do uh, with this that can really, really, um, I think, just move the ball forward a little bit for you. So we're going to go over inside switch. And one of there's a lot you can do with this. Like I said, um, one of the things I love about bunch tight end is that you can really you can motion any of these three receivers uh, to the right. So you can you can do that, and then also it just gives you a nice alignment, and it's a nice little wrinkle to add into a trips tight end type of offense that um, this playbook allows us to have. You see here, if I go to trips, you see how how seamless the motion is into trips, and then I can run you know my concept right here, one of the best concepts in Madden right now. Um, this simple little this simple little vertical play. So I can do a lot of things with this offense. The other thing I like about it is I can audible, you know, down into tight doubles, or I could go to some of the under center runs uh, from the Raiders playbook, which is really effective as well. But anyway, let's talk about um, inside switch. So inside switch, if you want to run it to the right, what I like to do is take Antonio Brown and just put him on a slant route, and I'm going to motion to the right, and I'm just going to snap him right here. And this is just going to help uh, just increasingly allow you to beat man. in. Um, it's really going to open up the field, especially against some of the um, meta man to man coverages that you might face. For example, you might face something like this, uh, where people are basically just purpling and shading coverage over top and trying to prevent you from running, you know, kind of your basic uh, little setups here. And what you'll notice is this route combination right here will really do a number on this defense. As you can see, the motion slant is going to do a good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage to the inside of the field. The other thing that you're going to be able to have on this play as well um, is the flat route to Mike Evans is going to basically pull the underneath zones away from the middle of the field so that you can hit this route to Antonio Brown. Another route that I really like is this little post route right here to Chris Guy went over the middle of the field you'll see that that will also uh, do a good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage and then obviously you have your your tight end corner route um, now this tight end corner route like I said you know what it, it in my opinion if you have good route running you would you would want to low ball that against man so like if, if you're playing mutt and you have a Darren Waller or you have a Vernon Davis or you have someone like that there um, this actually is a really effective route I really like it to um Todd Heap. Todd Heap, I think, is probably the best tight end in my, at least in my opinion right now. And I use him on this route all the time, and I'm able to beat man-to-man -man coverage very easily. So, uh, But you got the slants, you got that motion over. So that's one version that you can do with this, um, with this little concept right here. 
You'll see just kind of motion the slant out, gets you some space over on that side of the field. And this is just going to help continue to space the field, um, which is something that bunch tight end really does allow you and affords you the opportunity to do. Another thing that I like to do is basically turn this into mesh posts. So what I'll do is I'll turn, I'll take um, Mike Evans, put him on a drag, take Antonio Brown, put him on a drag. And this is literally just going to basically be under, you know, kind of motioned over mesh. And I love these dual drags. I still think this works really, really well against man. A lot of people like slant routes against man. The one thing that I would say about that is I feel like it, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to use her a flat route or I'm sorry, a, a slant route than it is to use her two drags. I think two drags are really, really difficult to use her, and that's why I like it so much. It's hard for them to contain both of these drags. And yes, you're only going to get five to ten, but it's a consistent read as a check down. So I just turned this basically into mesh post, and um, I just have I have a lot of success with this this concept right here. This uh, it doesn't seem like much. But this little simple double drag concept, you see they're on the same plane. And what that means is you're going to get that natural pick, that natural rub onto the players. You can do some air trucks and things like that to get up the field on them. So you have that read as well. That's another way to run um, run inside switch. Okay. Um, another way that you can run this play is you can basically um, essentially take Mike Evans, just put him on a curl route, and then take Gronk and throw him onto a streak. And this is more for zone coverage, but what you'll see is this is going to do a good job um, at just beating zone coverage. You see these underneath underneath little hook routes are going to get pretty good separation against zone coverage. One other thing you can do with this, you could actually take Mike Evans and just put him on a little hitch. And you'll see right here, um, see, they are close together, so you can kind of use her both of those. But against zone coverage, I think they actually do a decent job. Another thing you could do is you could just smart route, obviously, Mike Evans on his hitch route, and you'll see this is going to turn into a nice little combination against that zone coverage. You see they're just going to get in different spots, so I can you know, basically pass lead or pass open the open uh, hitch route. Okay, So that's inside switch with the left side motion. Now I want to show you stick uh, with the left side motion. Now this is... Um, a play that you need tight end apprentice for. It's kind of why I got the bucks. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to flat route uh, Fournette. We're going to put the tight end on a crossing route, and then what we're going to do here is I actually like to just leave um, Antonio Brown and put him on a, uh, or I like to put him on a hitch route. So this simple combination right here again doesn't look like too much. This thing's a tough tough route combination to guard. Um, you see there that hitch route to Antonio Brown. Because we've motioned over our, um, because we've motioned over our outside receiver on this, what you're going to notice is Antonio Brown's route is going to be much much more consistent against man-to-man -man coverage. So I see right here, um, he's going to get that nice little settle up noose animation. Pass lead that to the inside, and you'll be good. Um, that's all I like to do on that right there. And then the really um, the really cool part about this play is it's going to do a really, really good job against pretty much any coverage on the um, over the middle of the field. So once you've started to kind of stretch them horizontally, you could go to something like this, and you'll notice that this crossing route to Gronk is going to be very consistent against man, especially if you have a good tight end. Like I said, if you got Darren Waller or, or um, Vernon Davis, I would recommend Todd Heap would be my personal recommendation, but that's going to beat man-to-man. -man. The other thing that you have on this is the ability to beat man to man with this route right here to Chris Godwin. So as you'll see here, I'm going to motion over and what you'll see here is he's a snap right to the inside and be a nice, clean, smooth route against the man to man coverage in that regard as well. So you have some really, really um, powerful routes from the play stick with this motion. Okay. That you can do, obviously you could still do, all of the other things that we like to do, right? You can basically run, uh, turn it into mesh post, and you'll see here um, you'll get that nice underneath meshing action. And I just I, I love the double drags this year. I think they're really effective. But um, anyway, you could do that as well. And if they run zone, what you'll notice is number one, the crossing route to the tight end is very good against zone. What they're going to have to do to stop it is they're going to basically have to drop their zones back. And what's really cool about the hitch flat combination there is typically what's going to happen is you can actually hit this flat quick to the flat for about, you know, about two to three yards. Um, another thing I actually really like to do against zone is 
I will take um, I will take Mike Evans and I'll put him on a hit, uh, a zig route actually. And what you'll see here is this zig and hitch combination. It's actually going to open up a window that you can hit Mike Evans for a little bit better of a rack catch. And oftentimes you can get around the cloud flat. If they're in if they're not in a hard flat, um, you're going to be able to get around that, which is really really nice. Because what most people will try to do to defend this play, um, in particular this play, because you don't have anything deep to the outside. Um, what they'll try to do to defend it is they'll go cover two, and they'll basically run the cloud flats. You'll see that on this route to Gronk, um, the cloud flats are going to do a good job of getting back. As you can see, you basically have to turn it into an aggressive catch, kind of go up, get a nice animation. But against against man, or I'm sorry, against purple zones, purple zones are not going to do that. However, like I said, you're able to run a, a simple zig route and pretty much force them to have to double flat now what you're going to find that's going to open up a lot in this little play obviously the post route's going to be open um the other thing that you're going to have because of that zig um because he moves see that right there see how it opens that lane opens that passing lane it opens a nice passing lane for this and what's going to happen is because again they're going to have to run that vertical hook and this just really puts the defense in a, i think a tough position because you just have so much all over the field but what you're going to see with this if, if I run this crossing route, watch. This is just basic cover two, I believe. Uh, and what you'll see, watch this tight end. See right there. See how that, that hitch holds the vertical hook down? That's going to be very, very consistent. If the vertical hook obviously goes back, right, if the hook zone goes back to cover the tight end, then you just take your hitch. Um, it's basically a two-man read, but it's actually very, very effective uh, from this. So you'll see right here, again, same thing, same route combination. Now watch. You see here... Um, See how he holds him right there? Now, that obviously, the purple zone hit him. But I, if I throw that earlier, if I throw that earlier, that's going to be open. Now, what people are, that, what that's going to force them to do is they're either going to have to drop their zone drops back or, like, for their hooks, they're going to have to drop that back to 10 yards. Or what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to shade coverage over top. When they start shading coverage over top against this defense or this offense, you just take your hitch. You just take your hitch. And I cannot tell you how many of those I've thrown. Uh, I will also say that what a lot of people will do, especially against these bunch sets this year, this is a very common coverage. They're literally just going to run basically double flat. They're gonna they're gonna Mabel coverage both sides. Well, oftentimes their user is gonna go to the crossing route on this play, and so you'll see this hitch is gonna be wide open. This route combination right here is deadly. I promise you that much. Um, this route combination, you'll be able to consistently move the ball uh, against your opponent. Now, what we haven't even gotten into yet is obviously your post route to Chris Godwin on this. This motion over post right at that snap point right there. He's going to beat most zone coverage. Again, what you're primarily trying to figure out is do they take the crosser or do they take the post route? Most of that is going to be a decision that your user is going to have to make. But oftentimes they're going to take the crossing route uh, from my experience with this. And what you'll see is because they're going to take that crossing route, it's going to leave a nice window in behind it um, with the proper spacing to be able to throw that post route to Chris Godwin right over the middle of the field. Okay, so those are some right side motions that you can use from this. The next play I wanted to go over would be X spot. Um, this is literally just a traditional flood. All you're going to do is take Godwin, put him on a hitch, or put him on a, um, excuse me, put him on a, um, a streak here. And then on the back side, um, you can do whatever you really want to. Um, there's nothing, you know, you could do all kinds of things. You could put him on a post. I actually really like to put the tight end on a delay fade and put the running back on a Texas route. And what you'll see, the, the tight end is basically a last resort read. But we're going to basically just force them to have to respect the fact that we can always flood this side of the field. So we can run the corner, you know, basically. if they have, And, and what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to double flat. If they run hard flats um, against this, then what you're going to see is the corner route. The corner route will be open to Antonio Brown. So like here, they're going to jump down. I can pass that corner route away very easily, as you can see. And then obviously if they run something like a cover two, you'll see this play X spot. And you'll notice the corner route, I can, because there's so much space, um, again, this is why you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. Because there's so much space, I can actually fit that in behind the cloud um, within this offense. So very nice. 
uh, from there. Very, very nice. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go to the play. Um, one other thing with X-Spot that you can do is you can, again, because we can motion over, we can run that same route combination that we just ran, but now we can run it with Antonio Brown. That's what I like about it because they can't key in on somebody. It's hard for them It's hard for them to consistently key in on somebody from bunch tight end because of the routes that you're able to basically create on the field. One other thing that you can do um, from this is let's say you are in the play – Let's say you're in the play, let's see here, not X spot, not curl flat corner. What am I thinking of right now? Uh, inside switch. I'm sorry, inside switch. You can motion this this corner route right here. Uh, this little out route right here is actually going to get in a nice little spot, little, little spot um, against the defense. And what you'll notice is oftentimes, this is what I've been seeing anyway, um, if they're like in curl flats, like let's say they're in some kind of curl flat. And this is just to keep the, the idea that you can basically force them to have to mable both sides. Watch the tight end on the right. You see how he's going to see, see that right there? So what we can basically do is turn this into a right side flood through two different ways. The first way is just to motion Godwin over and put the tight end on a streak. And now what we're forcing them to do is have to deep half both sides. Okay, we, that's option A. That's option A. Option B, which is my preferred, is to take that same motion over, but this time we're going to motion Mike Evans or Antonio Brown, either one. I personally think Antonio Brown is a better decision um, just for how everything's going to play out against man. And we're just going to put Antonio Brown on a streak. And what you'll notice is this is now going to clear out a lot of zones, for you to be able to basically go with a, um, you know, force them to have to double flat on the right now. So now they have to double flat on the right. They have to double flat on the left. If they don't double flat, you're going to be able to hit them with the floods, which is then going to open the middle of the field up for you to hit your crossing route and for you to hit your uh, post route. Okay, and that's going to lead us to our final play. And this is primarily a play that you would want to run if you were on the left side hash or just as a mix-in play. And you can run it two two ways that I recommend running this play. The first one, uh, so PA boot over. The first way I recommend running this play is to basically turn this into a right side uh, flood. So what I'm going to do at the snap, I'm going to put the tight end on a streak. I'm going to smart route and uh, Chris Godwin's route. And then with Antonio Brown, instead of running him on a crossing route, what I'm going to do instead is put him on a simple post. Okay, you do need slot apprentice to do this. Um, if you don't want to put him on a simple post, just put him on a hitch or a curl. Okay, N either one will work just fine. And then with the running back, we're going to put him on a little shoot flat route like this right here. Okay, and I actually prefer this route combination right here. I actually prefer to put Antonio Brown on a post, Mike Evans on a hitch, and then Godwin's coming over on this route. Now, if they're in cover two, you're going to snap him while he's moving. You'll notice that this corner route oftentimes is going to get over that cover two man. So if they're in cover, like if they're in man coverage and they're, and, and you can't get over the top of the man, this little play right here. And I think Henry ran this in the, in the club championship, this play, this route right here is really, really good for uh, getting over the man to man coverage. These little motioned over post routes, motion over skinny posts this year, do a really, really good job. So watch what happens. He's in man coverage. He's going to fall step. Now, you do need over 90 deep route running to get over him. So because Godwin doesn't have that, that's what's creating the issue. But in Mutt, that's going to work just fine. A lot of people will run cover two on the right side of the field here, right? That's what a lot of people are going to try to do. Uh, they, may even, they may even double flat it, right? So they may take this left side slot, throw him into a hard flat. What you're going to notice uh, when you motion this over, this route combination right here, and you can run this play multiple ways, but what you'll notice when you motion him over is now this route to Godwin's going to beat every cover two in Madden. You see right there? Absolute laser against that cover two. Almost a one-play touchdown. If they run deep halves, if they run cover two on that side of the field, the route's going to beat it every time. I'm going to show you cover three sky real quick. Now, this is a purple zone. And um, let me get back in the right, right zone here. Uh, but what you'll notice on this... So we got deep halves over the cover three, everyone's favorite coverage. And um, what you'll notice on this, again, that simple route combination. 
That's what we're looking at right there. Okay? Watch Chris Godwin get to the sideline. You can pass lead him to the right. You see here I can kind of pass lead, and I can aggressive catch that against a deep half safety. A deep half safety. Now, most of the time what's going to actually happen for your offense here is this deep half, which I don't know why he's not going to deep half. This deep half guy, let me just get him down here. Let me get this right for you. We'll throw him in a hard, okay? Something like this. This is what we're looking at. So the deep half guy on the right, watch what's going to happen on this play. So PA boot over, and uh, we're just going to run the streak. Run that simple setup right here. Now watch this deep half zone. So I'm going to motion him over. I'm going to snap him right about here. The deep half zone should drift to the inside. He does right there. He's going to go with that tight end. You still have that window, as you can see right there. So if he's in a deep third, he's going to go with the corner. If he's in a deep quarter, he might go with the corner. But if he's in a deep half zone, he's not going to go with him. Okay, so you have that option. And then obviously on the back side, you have your simple hitch post combination here uh, with this right side flood. And you see the post is going to be man-to-man -man right over the middle of the field. Very nice from the bunch tight end. The last version of this, actually, I've, uh, the last version of this setup is kind of a kind of a max protect setup, I guess. But it's really good for like cover two or for two men under. Uh, and basically, what you're going to do is you just want to make sure that no routes are going to the left. So what I like to do here is take the tight end, put it on a post route, block the running back. This simple route combination right here in smart route, Chris Godwin. What you'll notice is this crisscrossing is going to force this. Um, I think I need to be on the other hash. But this crisscrossing is going to basically um, do something similar to what we can do at a trips tight end and essentially allow you to beat uh, pretty much every defense for a one-play touchdown, including cover two man. So we'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Uh, to do this, we will need a little bit of time in the pocket. That's why you block your running back. But PA boot over, smart route Chris Godwin, and then we're just going to run a simple – uh, double hitch concept on the back side so either a flat and a hitch or something like that right something like this right here watch chris godwin's route you'll see the safety on the right side should come down completely he actually did it on that play maybe you can't do it from bunch tight end uh, you can certainly do it from trips tight end um, maybe it's just because we're not spread out enough it's not a big deal we can run that uh, from something else but you see that concept will sometimes work and you might just have to uh, it might be one of those things actually i think you might have to just motion them out let me try this one more time and then we'll move on to our, our final play from this. And again, guys, if you want more stuff like this, uh, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know um, and just shoot me a text and I can shoot you some of our other uh, material as well. What you'll see now, when I motioned him out, uh, he did not go. Okay, so he didn't go. You'll also notice that the playmakering from Bunch Tight End, I think, is pretty decent. Uh, you can kind of playmaker people open as well. But anyways, I uh, wanted to show you one other thing. So this is PA boot over. Now, this is uh, – Henry ran this play in the club uh, – in the club championship uh, for the Eagles club uh, against Salty. And he did a really, really good job. But basically all you do – literally all you do, it's a quick snap play. Just put the tight end on a delay fade, smart route Chris Godwin, and go. And what you'll notice is you're going to okay, basically come out here, and then you can release the fade. Uh, release that delay fade route if you have a you know if, even if you don't have a mobile quarterback you can do this but if they're in any zone coverage any zone coverage in the game that delay fade is going to get wide open uh, oftentimes their user they're going to pull their user completely out of the play so watch right here i'm motion over just release him snap throw it up and you saw he completed a really critical like third and 18 with that route combination now, i want to show you really quickly this against man to man as well same exact route combination right Got that nice deep crosser. Watch. I'm going to motion over. He's going to come at me. I'm just going to release the tight end as soon as the man coverage comes at me. And the man coverage is not going to be able to, to stop the uh, tight end route. Okay? So just a nice little concept there. But it's not just a nice little concept. It's a nice little concept paired with one of the best route combinations in Madden 21, which is a post, a crosser, and a drag route. Watch what's going to happen right here. You'll notice that this crossing route, when it gets to the sideline, you can pretty much hit that. Now, that's a mid-read. Most of the time, that mid-read's not going to be there, but he obviously was there in that. But as you can see, I mean, you're still able to complete it. And then the next thing that you have on this is you have this route over the middle to Chris Godwin, right in that little window right there against the cover two zone. Very nice. Now, let's say they were to run the meta man-to-man -man covers that everybody likes to run, right? They're going to run the two purples. Very popular man-to-man. Uh, -man. Let me back out of that real quick. 
set this defense up for you. So there's your meta man-to-man -man coverage. PA boot over, delay fade the tight end, smart route the left side guy, quick snap him. And what you'll see is Chris Godwin's route should beat man coverage over the top, as you can see here, for an absolute laser. So you have a lot of options. Um, and basically you're just flooding the right side of the field. Um, but one other thing that I actually really like to do too from this, uh, real quick, is just motion Godwin to the outside. And what you'll notice is that little motion right there, um, it's just going to give you a little bit better spacing against zone. That's all it does, but still very effective. So anyways, guys, that's bunch tight in, um, in a nutshell, that's the majority of the stuff I wanted to cover from bunch tight in. We might have a couple of other little money plays here and there from this formation, but this formation is really good, especially paired with trips tight in from the Raiders book. And with tight doubles, you have some really good passing. You also have probably the best running playbook in Madden, in my opinion, uh, which is the Las Vegas Raiders. So hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown. And again, if you liked this, this is just kind of a sneak peek of what we do for our text message members every single week. So if you want to get access to that, ex those exclusive videos that break down the Carolina bunch, the big nickel over G. Um, I think this last week we did this, the uh, uh, formation from the Patriots book. Um, we do that every single week. So um, they get new videos every week also, and we'll give you the access to the playlist so you can catch all the archived footage as well. But um, all you got to do is text me, pull your cell phone out, shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching today. We'll be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we also have another video coming out. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Do you like these longer videos where I go into a little bit more schematics? Or do you like more of the straight to the point uh, play breakdowns? Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you in our next video.